Welcome to ConnectWise Level Up, a new bi-weekly series brought to you by ConnectWise Consulting. Each video highlights a key feature of one of our products to help you learn more and level up your use of the ConnectWise suite of products. Today's topic is using email connector tags and workflow rules. In ConnectWise Manage, the key concepts are email connector tags, which enable you to quickly create and or update existing tickets by issuing commands via an inbound email connector. Workflow rules, running on any of the records, have the send email action. And when sending an email as a workflow rule action, several variables are available. Using these together allows me to create or update tickets off a workflow rule with information from the original record and without the need for the more rigid ticket templates. If you aren't familiar with them already, there's a long list of email connector tags. They all have the same format, starting and ending with two exclamation points, then the command itself to the left of a colon, then the value. Be aware, some email connector tags only work on existing tickets. An example that I often see of this sort of thing is where a configuration renewal needs to create a new ticket for processing. So, when we're setting it up in the Send To field, be sure to select Email Address on the left and then enter a correct email connector address. In the Member From, you can either select a role you know has a member ID in it, or you can select specific member and then select a name from the drop-down list on the right. Add whatever subject you want to become the ticket summary if you're creating a new ticket. If you're updating an existing ticket, remember to put a valid ticket token here. Then compose the body of the email using email connector tags and variables. You can use the contact email connector tag to create a new ticket for the same company and contact as the original record. You can use the add internal email connector tag to include instructions and details from the original config in the internal notes of a new ticket. As a bonus, add a clickable link to the original config using its share link and the item rec ID variable. The result, a new ticket with all the instructions, information from the original config, plus a clickable link to open it. I hope you enjoyed learning about today's topic. If you want to learn more, come back in two weeks to hear about our next topic. And of course, our ConnectWise consultants are always available to help you level up with ConnectWise. If there's a topic you'd like to hear about in an upcoming ConnectWise Level Up, please comment below with your suggestion. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and follow us on Facebook.